So I want to show you today a new sequencer. This one is from Pathset. It's called Glass Pain, where you can basically patch your own sequence or sequences even. Um, and it's quite, quite fun. I'm going to show you a bit how it works. And then it's uh, it's on you to go and explore this because it's, uh, it's quite an interesting concept. Anyway, this is the module. As you can see, we have um, four on four, basically. So 16 steps. But again, we can patch them in all sorts of ways. So we have two trigger inputs for each step. Basically, they are um, identical, right? And we have three trigger outputs on each step that will, by default, they will cycle. You see here we have the different modes we have by default cycle. So with each trigger they receive, they will cycle one, two, three, and then go back to one. Right, and like this, we can patch basically the sequence. Uh, we have also the CV control here. Here we have gate CV. I'm using a quantizer as always. And my voice in this case is kick all. In the right click menu, we can change the range of CV. It's set now to negative positive one, which means basically two octaves. So if I connect now a clock, right, I need a bit more volume. We get basically just the first step because nothing is patched. So what we can do now, let's start, for example, with the four step sequence, right? So I'm taking one uh, a trigger output and trigger and send it to the input of the second step. You see now they're alternating and I will do this. So we have four steps basically. So now we can do something like this. Right? So now by patching, this is quite interesting, by patching the sequence itself, right, we have a four-step sequence, quite easy. Right, and now what we can do, I can say this, I can say the first step of the fourth, um, the first trigger of the fourth step will go back to step number one. Right, which is also by default. But now when I use the second step, because again, they will cycle. First of all, it will go to the first, or it will trigger the first trigger, and then it will trigger the second one. So I can have another step. Right? Right, and then I can say, okay, this step, will trigger yet another step. Right, and now we have once four steps and once five. Which is quite, quite cool. And I can say, I can take this even further. This is quite a cool concept. I can say, I can take this even further and I can say, this step here will once go back to the first step. Again, we have two trigger inputs for each step. Right, so again, by default it will do this, but I want to use also the second trigger here. So the second trigger will go to yet another step. Right, and now we have another mode. And this mode is called random. And basically, instead of cycling between the outputs, it will randomly output a trigger from one, two, and three. And again, in the right click menu, we can change this. You can see odds controls if random steps are evenly distributed or weighted to output A. So if you have this on weighted, it will more likely uh, to use or to choose output A, but I'm going to leave it as it is. Right, and now I can say it will randomly go to one of three destinations, basically. So I can say one, two, right, and three. Right, and have different
hours. So basically what happens now is when it reaches this step here, it will randomly choose between this step, this step, and this step here. Right? And now I can also use Right, I can also use those triggers outside basically of the sequence. So here for example I have a VCA, right, that is being opened or it will be opened by an envelope. And this VCA is going to a delay module basically, right, to corner blob 2. So what I can do, I can use a copy of this voice, right, send it to the VCA. And I'll say only when it reaches this step here, only on this step, which is happening randomly, I want the voice to go basically to the delay, and we get only then the delay, right? The delay is also 100% wet, so we don't get the original voice. So what I will do, I will use the same trigger that is being used to trigger this step, which is again random. I'm going to use it to gate the envelope. So let's listen to this for a second and wait for it. Basically, this step to be chosen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe a bit more feedback. Man, this is so cool. Okay, now let's do something like this. Let's, I will initialize all of the steps because I want more, more range, okay? I want more range. So let's, uh, in the right click menu, let's go to negative positive three volts, which will give us six octaves. It's a bit too much, but let's see. Right, so now there is another mode. Wait a minute, let's, let's first of all have here another, let's say another random mode, right? And it will be one, two, yes, and three, right? So there's a chance when it comes here that it will basically Right, go to one of those three steps. Oh man, this is so nice. Right, now there is another mode, and let's say, let's do this from this step here, right? There is another mode that is called Ratchet. So when it reaches this step here now, it will basically not cycle through uh, the outputs and will not send triggers at random, it will basically play them one after the other. So one to three as a sort of a ratchet, right? Which means that I can do this one, two, three. When it reaches this step, it will trigger all three as a ratchet, one, two, three, right? So I can do maybe something like this. Let's wait for it. So 
which will not happen so often because we need two two random signals so let's do something like this actually let's use let's use the one that triggers this step right and we'll use the same trigger also to trigger so there, there are there are double chances you heard it now <laughs> Right, because again, we have two inputs for each step. Oh man, this is so cool. Let's wait for it one more time. Right, so this is the ratchet. And in the right click menu, you can change also the speed. I will leave it at half notes because it works nicely. But, but you can change also the speed. Now, again, you can use this also outside, outside of the sequence, right? So in, oh man, so in this case, there are two triggers right so let's say that when one trigger happens i want also the decay of the voice to go down so the ratchet will be a bit more a bit more interesting right so here again i have an envelope in this case i'm inverting it right so it will go down instead of going up because i want the decay the decay to go down right and not up with the envelope so what i will do i will use this the decay input right and let's use this gate here or trigger to gate oh man to gate the envelope right let's listen to this right <laughs> oh man this is fun Okay, now it, it, I have another idea here. Again, we can use it again outside of the sequence. So here I have a burst generator. A reburst, which is back. Rappelsen is back in VC, which is always fun. Right, which will create a burst of notes with an FM operator and some delay. So I want, when this ratchet ends on the glass pane, right, I want another ratchet here, another burst of notes. It will come from the FM operator. Now it will just go to the burst, which is not so cool. So I need to use this trigger. I was mistaken. No, okay, and I will unmute this also. Oh yes, so basically when it reaches this step here, I used the, diff, uh, the wrong uh, gate. But when it reaches this step here, when this step is being triggered, it will trigger also burst on the FM with the FM operator, right? And so cool. Basically program your own sequence. Um, of course, there is a lot, a lot to explore here with all sorts of feedback stuff also, I guess, and adding even more probability with external modules. I just really wanted to show you this so you can go and explore it because such an interesting, oh man, so cool. Such an interesting module. Um, taking sequencing to a different uh, direction. I have here uh, a few more voices that um, uh, this patch, of course, will be available in the description if you want to have a closer look. But I have here a sort of a bass and some hi-hats with tre uh, tremor too. I have some chords here with plates, some modulation going on, um, some noise with squonk, some glitches with uh, noise plethora and per call. Again, the, it will be available in the description if you want to download it. I'm going to leave you uh, with these sounds here. Um, go explore glass pane. Oh yeah. And cheers, have fun. Thank you.